lots of fun. Superbook fell off a shelf. Look what they've done. We didn't hit the computer. Oh, they were surprised. Superbook got programmed in. Now it's computerized. Now it's computerized. Welcome to the house just down the street and around the corner, where Mrs. Peeper knows something's cooking. Chris, Joy, Yuri, about time to get ready for supper. Strange, they seem awfully quiet. What in the world could they be up to now? You've lost them. Gotta be around there somewhere. Well, uh, change locations or something. We've just gotta find them. I know, I know. See anything here? Cause I'm worried. What if Yuri didn't make it out of Sodom in time? Don't worry, I'm sure old Frank Gizmo's looking after him, Joy. Children, supper's almost <gasps> ready. Chris, I forgot. Your mother knows nothing about them being taken back in time. How can we explain it? Gizmo, Yuri! Oh. Look, there they are, Joy. Hooray! Hey, Gizmo! Yuri, uh, can you hear uh, me? Uh, 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 Gizmo, uh, why don't you uh, answer me? Uh, <laughs> Oh, wow, 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 oh, no. Christopher Peeper! I'm sorry. At least Chris and Joy know that Yuri and Gizmo are safe and sound. They're still searching for their dog, Ruffles. But walking through all those mountains isn't easy, especially for a little guy like Yuri. Huh. Oh. Gizmo. Yes? I'm pooped. I think I'll take a rest. Oh. What may oh. I do for you? tired and hungry. I cannot help you there. I want to rest for a while. If you want to find Ruffles, we had better keep looking. Come on. No! No way! I want to rest! Oh, well. I tried. Hmm. Sensors picking up odor. Of course, it is smoke from wood-burning fire. You're right. I see it, and wherever there was smoke, there must be people making fire. The better to cook food, and I'm hungry. Come on! But I thought you were tired. Mostly I need food. Come on. Come in. Our little friends don't know it, but they're headed right for the camp of Abraham and Sarah, where something very special is about to happen. <laughs> Hurry up, Gizmo. We're almost there. Oh, wait. I am afraid my spring is running down, 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 down. Wait, I forgot. This will fix you right up. Up Well, well, well. Where do you two think you're going? Best stay away from the big tent. Huh? You heard me. Why should we stay away? Because Abraham is waiting anxiously for the birth of his first child. You mean that man over there? You guessed it. That's Abraham. Gee, he looks old enough to be a grandfather. That old man must have a young wife. Would you believe she's 90 years old? What? 90? Babies are born to women much younger. It's unusual. In fact, it's a miracle. I'm not sure what miracle means. Something wonderful? Mm, yes. It happened just about a year ago. 
The sun was high. Abraham was resting from the heat of the day by the oaks of Mammon. He lifted up his eyes, and behold, three men stood in front of him. Huh? Oh, travelers. My lord, if I have found favor in your sight, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought so you can wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree, while I fetch a morsel of bread that you may refresh yourselves before you go on your way. You may do as you have said. Thank you. I will personally see to the preparations immediately. <laughs> Sarah, quickly, get three measures of fine meal and make some bread. But why? We have enough for ourselves. We must show hospitality to three travelers. Of course, I'll get right to it. I'll go and select a fine, young, tender calf. Travelers, how nice. Thank you, Abraham. You are most welcome. Let no one say that Abraham would fail to share what the Lord had given. Abraham, may that be said of all your descendants. But where is your wife, Sarah? She is in the tent. Shall I call her? It's not necessary. I will return to you next year about this time, and your lovely wife, Sarah, will present you with a son. Sarah, bear me a son? Huh? Mm-hmm. That would be the answer to the prayer of my life. But it's impossible. What makes you say that? Look at us. We're old. I'm almost a hundred years old. And Sarah is ninety now, well past childbearing. What I say shall be so. <laughs> he must be joking. Will I really have a child in my old age? After all, I'm almost 90. Who ever heard of a woman having a child at that age? <laughs> Why does Sarah find this so amusing? What? Sarah is laughing and saying to herself that she's much too old to have children. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Well, I... I shall return, and Sarah will have a son. Of course, I believe it. As the Lord promised, and the Lord's promises are true, Abraham will at last have a son. Any minute now. Oh, what a terrific story! Mm. Huh? It's the baby! The baby! That confused. Come, let's go see it. I'm with you. <laughs> I shall name you Isaac, for indeed you bring laughter to my heart. Look at the stars. It must be nighttime there. Try making time go faster, like maybe to the morning. I'll try. This should make it about dawn. Good morning. Time to wake up. The pie was excellent. Oh, dear. Dreaming of food. Look, there goes Ruffles. What? Where is she? I don't see Ruffles. Uh-huh. I paid a trick on Yuri. Give me a break. I don't wake you up that way. That is true. But then I never sleep. Don't try to change the subject like that. As soon as you could sleep if you want to. So there. Do you want to find your dog or do you not? Absolutely. Careful. Oh, you got a built-in computer. Why didn't you tell me, Gizmo? You never asked me. Wow, what fun. No, no. You must not touch the keys for fear of changing my program commands. 
Aw, oh, Gizmo, don't be a scaredy cat. Let me push your buttons. Look, Joy, there they are. Yuri. Come in, please. Gizmo, calling Gizmo. Please, come in. Can't hear us, I'm afraid. What now? Well. No, you can't. Wait, Gizmo, wait. I said no, and I... Oh! oh, oh. oh. Disappeared. Ow! Where are we? It seems that we have passed through time. I don't know where. But what about Waffles? Huh? I know. I'll ask that man over there. Hey, mister! Hey! Excuse me. You seen a dog? A dog? Mm hmm. She was about this big, and, uh... Wait. Ah! She looks like this. We are looking for her. Well, I don't know if this is the one you want, but there was this merchant talked about seeing some peculiar animal around Mount Moriah. Shall we check it out? Wait, thank you! Wait, we'll go. Oh, what is wrong now? Gizmo, do you have any idea where is Mount Mariah? No, I have never heard of Mount Mariah. Can I go back? Wait, wait. Mister, wait! We forgot something! Wait, Yuri, so I can protect you. You're getting to be a big fella. Hey, Isaac, let's start heading back now. All right. As you can see, Isaac has grown into a strong, handsome, cheerful boy and very helpful to his old father, Abraham, and his mother, Sarah. Easy. Mother, we're back. <laughs> oh, he's quite a boy. Mm, indeed. Father, I missed you. And I missed you, Isaac. It's all it is, his dog. Well, sometimes it may seem like an eternity. Come along, you two. It's time for supper. Good, I'm starved. And then one night, it happened. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. What is it? That light, could it be? Abraham. Lord, here am I. Abraham, take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering. Sacrifice Isaac? Yes. you would establish an everlasting covenant with Isaac and his descendants after him. I will make nations of you, you said, and kings will come from you. And indeed, you were gracious unto Sarah, and she bore me a son, my only son, Isaac. And now you would have me surrender him? Oh. Morning, Father. Good morning, my son. What are you doing? Gone on a trip? Yes, Isaac, get ready to go. Really? Mm-hmm. Your father says you're both going off to worship God at Mount Moriah. You didn't mention this before. I received a message from God. My son and I must go to the mountain to demonstrate our faith. Great. Won't take long for me to get ready. Abraham? Hmm. There, that should be enough provisions. I certainly hope so. It'll take at least three days to get there, right? Hmm. That's right. 
That makes six whole days before we're able to get back home again. Won't you be lonely, Mother? Don't you worry yourself. My joy will be greater when you come back. Do be careful. Bye. We will. I shall make the rest of the trip alone, without your assistance. Stay here with the donkeys. Yes, sir. Shall we go, Isaac? I'm ready. Father? Hmm? It just struck me. We have wood for the fire, but for a burnt offering, we need a lamb. That's right. God will provide the offering, Isaac. Good. Thought we'd have to go back for it. I'll take the wood, Isaac. Here you are. Wow! What a view! I can't sway over there beyond that mountain. Wonder what Mother's doing now. What do you think? Father? Huh? Where's the lamb, Father, for the burnt offering? Father! Isaac, listen carefully. The Lord wants no lamb. No, not a lamb. <laughs> but he said he wants my son. What? I am to be the burnt offering? It is the will of God, Isaac. Are you... Are you sure? Why would God pick me? Isaac. Ask me why. I don't know why. All I know is what he said. I understand. Whatever you say, Father, I shall obey. Oh, Isaac. 
Because you have done this, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Oh, my boy. Father. <laughs> huh? Well... <laughs> The Lord will provide. Hey, wait a minute. What is that? Sensors, Toby. That is smell of meat being cooked. We are you at Mount Moira? Let's go see. Yeah. Gizmo, are you sure that was really a wham? Yes, little master. I am sure of it. Oh. Waffles, come here! Waffles! Not up here at all. At least we know she is not here. We'll keep looking. Mm -hmm. Waffles, hang in there! We'll find you yet! Ready to keep looking, Gizmo? I'm with you. Then let's go! Not so fast. I have one wary robot. 